I'm the true Lord of Babenba! Stop them! The characters in The Last Kingdom are super entertaining on screen, but did you know that they almost got played by different actors? With four seasons under its belt, the show has an amazing cast that we can't imagine otherwise. Welcome to today's Top 7 list, where we'll be looking at actors that almost played in The Last Kingdom, and why others got the roles instead. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and please turn notifications on so that you don't miss any of our new videos. Number 1. What is The Last Kingdom About? Based on the Saxon Stories novel by Bernard Cornwell, this historical drama a series is about Uhtred of Bebenberg. The show is filled with epic battles and heroic deeds. Everything you want to see in a historical drama is here in The Last Kingdom. It ticks all the right boxes in our adventurous minds. It is about King Alfred the Great's mission to unite all the kingdoms in England. The show shows the struggle between Saxons and Danes in 9th century England, but the era of Lidsenfarn and raiders from the sea is long past. The Vikings in Britain are settlers, lords, and kings. The story takes place from Uhtred's point of view. It's about how Uhtred, who was born as a Saxon but raised as a Dane, slowly comes to grips with who he is or who he wants to be. This is his quest between his conflicting cultural identities and his quest for retribution. The series starts off with a tale of revenge. Uhtred's vengeful mission to reclaim his ancestral home in Northumbria from his usurping uncle and avenging the murder of his adoptive Viking father. There's nothing better than another Viking show. Uhtred finds himself in the kingdom of Essex, where Alfred the Great has dreams of expelling the Northmen from all the realms of England and creating a single nation. Not everyone is a fan of period dramas, but The Last Kingdom seems to be doing everything right. The show is so popular on Netflix that it has already been renewed for a fifth season. That's what we call success. Next up, who almost played the leading role of Uhtred? Who doesn't want to be the star of a show? Alexander Draymond is the star who plays this role. Many actors, however, were auditioning for the role of Uhtred, and almost got the part. It just so happens that one of Draymond's co-stars, Christian Hilborg, who plays Dane Eric in the series, admits that in 2014, he originally auditioned for the role of Uhtred. And that's right, he didn't get the part. I don't know about you, but I can't really picture Christian Hilborg as Uhtred. Can you? But what do you guys think? Do you think the casting director made a good decision choosing Alexander Draymond to be Uhtred? Number 3. Christian Hilborg as Dane Eric The Swedish actor, according to fans, is a perfect fit as Dane Eric. The actor tells us how he got his part. I auditioned for Uhtred to begin with in 2014. That's when I got my first agent, my UK agent. The Last Kingdom was my first self-tape I sent to my agent. Then I auditioned for a couple of other characters as well. So yeah, but when I got Eric, I realized this is more hand in glove. Most definitely when I did the callback with Bjorn Roger Bengston. I personally am very happy with Christian Hilborg playing the role of Eric, and can't imagine him otherwise. Next, why is Alexander Draymond the best fit for Uhtred? The 38-year-old German actor not only looks the part, but he puts a lot of work into playing Uhtred. Alexander Draymond grew up in the US and pursued an acting career. He studied both in Paris and at the Drama Center in London to get a degree in acting and drama. No, breathe freely. His muscles are not digital enhancements. It's not just Photoshop or Final Cut Pro. Our on-screen hero Alexander is an off-screen gym junkie, and the muscle-bound outcome is there for us all to enjoy. The actor claims that he practices martial arts on a regular basis. The hunky 188-pound Draymond shows off his workout routines on his social media accounts. Before getting the part of Uhtred in The Last Kingdom, Draymond has worked with the world's strongest man, Magnus Samuelsson, the world's strongest man, way back in 1998. Samuelsson has taught Alexander Draymond key life lessons, including the value of determination and perseverance. Lars Wallen, a black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, teaches him jiu-jitsu one hour every day, and then he does 20 to 30 minutes of weightlifting. Yes, he sure is fit. I, for one, am not challenging this actor to a fight. Alexander got the part of Uhtred for a multitude of reasons, one being that he is multilingual, fluent in English, German, and French. In an interview with The Man, Draymond tells us how he got picked to be the lead role in the series. This is his response. 
A rather long audition process from May to September of 2014, many self-tapes, and finally, two screen tests. The actor truly loves his job. Playing Uhtred for five seasons has been a wonderful journey, he tells us. He's truly grateful to have been given the opportunity to direct. In doing so, he came to understand and respect the spectacular talent and skill of the cast and crew even more than before. He can't wait to share The Last Kingdom with his fans. He even tells us that none of this would be possible without us, the fans that make it possible. Aw, he really cares about us. If only he knew how much we cared about him. The Last Kingdom is the star's first breakout on-screen role. Draymond responds by exclaiming that playing Uhtred is the best decision of his life. And no, to paraphrase Edith Pife, he has no regrets. Number 5. Draymond's Acting Techniques Playing Uhtred is outright tricky. He's such a complex character, also known as Uhtred the Wicked, at least in the novels that the show is based on. Draymond says that Uhtred is known by different names as the story goes on. He's honest, trustworthy, and loyal, but he can also be a jerk, so the description of him as wicked is definitely accurate at times. Draymond says that one of the techniques he uses to get into character is research. The actor says the research makes up for all the times he fell asleep in school. The actor tries to find the best sources possible, and he dedicates a lot of time to doing that. Of course, in this case, the books by Bernard Cornwell are more than enough research for the actor to understand his character better. Draymond says the books are amazing, and that he loves reading them. He got all the inspiration he needed for Uhtred from these books, on which the series is based, but he also sees the huge potential of where the story could go. Draymond is surely an actor with vision. Once the theatrical part is done, Draymond likes to spend as much time as possible in character character, trying himself out on people he doesn't know. Not an easy feat when you're working on a 9th century warlord. You might just rub people the wrong way in the local mall. To play a complex character like Uhtred, Draymond focuses on keeping the character interesting. He also insists on doing most of the stunts himself. This could be pretty dangerous, so for the actors who didn't get the role of Uhtred, maybe it was for the best. Look on the bright side though, aspiring actors. At least your characters aren't dead. Next up, why did Netflix buy the show? Season 1 of The Last Kingdom first aired on BBC Two. The transfer to Netflix has affected the show, but in the best way possible. The Last Kingdom has a much broader fan base now. Fans are glued to the screen all around the world. Thanks again, Netflix. Last one on our list, let's talk about the cast of Season 5. Season 5 is set to be the show's last. The announcement comes as the show begins production of Season 5 in Budapest, Hungary. The scriptwriter of The Last Kingdom Season 5 is Martha Hillier. The series is produced by Carnival Films and distributed by NBC Universal Global Distribution. Season 5 is based on the 9th and 10th books of the Saxon stories. Now, Uhtred finally understands that his destiny is tied to the future of England. Uhtred is in the position of training King Edward's firstborn son, Aethelstan, as a warrior. Now, Uhtred's ambition will have an even higher purpose. To achieve his dream, Uhtred will have to face down his greatest enemy and suffer his greatest loss. Are you excited as I am about the new season? We do not yet have all the details concerning who will return to the newest season of the show. However, the star of the show, Uhtred, played by Draymond, will of course return. We are also likely to see the return of Brita, played by Emily Cox. She's Uhtred's childhood friend turned nemesis. She has last been seen in the woods giving birth all by herself. I guess she deserves some kind of break from that particular ordeal. Then there's Hasten, played by Jep Beck Larson. He's on the Viking side and most probably still alive. Then we will see the return of Sigtrigger, played by Eistine Sugorsen, who joins forces with Uhtred's daughter, Stiora, played by Ruby Hartley. Season 4 left the Saxon royals in a state of turmoil, so expect to see more of Timothy Eines as King Edward. Edward, Millie Brady as Lady Athenflaed, and possibly Eliza Butterworth as Lady Eyeswith. Last on our list, when will season 5 come out? For now, the fifth season will be released in late 2021 or early 2022. But that's it for today. If you want to see more of our videos, click the subscribe button and turn notifications on. Don't forget to like the video and leave us a comment. Thanks for watching.